Moving on, today in Israel we mark annual Yom Ha'aliyah, or Immigration Day, in which the country celebrates all of the olim, or immigrants, who have made the major choice to call Israel home. But of course, Aliyah numbers are a bit down in 2020, and as with all other things amidst the pandemic, there won't be any pa parades this year. Still, despite the virus and the strain that it's placed on new arrivals, at least 15,000 Jews emigrated to Israel since January, and at least 35,500 Aliyah applications were opened accounting for a 166% spike in the number of petitions from North America alone. So with annual Aliyah Day upon us, but with little to no fanfare, the question is, how are our new Olim or Israeli immigrants doing? With us to discuss on our immigrant panel, we have educator at the AMHSI and clinical art therapist Adi Benarzi, assistant director at Israel uh, XP from Barilan University, Meir Balovsky, and our very own ILTV producer, Hannah Rifkin. Thank you all so much for being with us. Thank you. Thank you. Very happy to introduce you guys. So first of all, you know, when did you first make Aliyah and what were your reasons? I'll start with you. Wow, so um, I guess you can loosely call me a new Ole. I made Aliyah in 2004. So that's about, uh, I mean, Not 17. quite new. Yeah, well, okay, so again, you're always, I mean, my accent will always make me Ole Chadash. So I get to maintain that moniker as long as my accent is clearly Canadian. I made Aliyah from, from Canada in, uh, from Toronto in 2004. And uh, why, okay, loosely, <laughs> Yes, for the classic ideological reasons, um, my wife and I, we grew up in Toronto um, believing Israel is our homeland, and in a nutshell, we had an opportunity to make Aliyah with our family, and we did not want to look back at life and say we didn't, ha we didn't take advantage of that. And uh, we said, you know, let's make this, make this uh, we keep talking about Israel as a homeland, let's make it a reality. Fair enough. Adi, I know you're with us right now on, on Zoom. You know, what were your reasons for moving here? Did, is Israel living up to all of your expectations so far? <laughs> Absolutely. Um, I'm both Israeli and American, um, so I always had a really strong connection to Israel. I actually made the decision to move here two years ago when my niece was born. Um, so it was really important for me to be here, uh, connected to my family and my home. Um, it's going great. <laughs> Hannah, I saving the best for last, of course. You know, how long ago did you move to Israel? I officially moved here in 2018, the beginning of 2018, but I've been here much longer than that. Um, and I'm, I came here because I came here on, on actually Mayor's gap year. Oh, yeah. And yeah, and after that I decided to stay and I went here for college and then I just, I loved it. How have you, how, how has your life in Israel been affected this year by coronavirus? Um, so when coronavirus started, I was actually still in the army, mm. in the Israeli army, and I decided to extend my service because I thought it would be the best bet because we didn't really know what was going to happen. Um, and then after I got released, that actually kind of saved me, to tell you the truth. And then after I got released, I came here. So, yeah. So, so Adi, back to you really quick then, you know, are you... Similarly, are you relying on your support network? I mean, how are you, how are you getting by in this difficult time? Um, I'm really fortunate to have a career path that allows me to still practice what I do. I educate um, incredible American students who had permission to uh, still come for a study abroad semester of high school at the JNF AMHSI. Um, so I, I'm an educator there, and I'm also an art therapist and a clinical mental health counselor. Um, and we all know, especially in the world of corona, there is a heightened need for that. Yeah, there's so. there's no, no shortage of the need for mental health counseling. Meir, I guess some of the question, you know, how you've been here now for 16 some odd years. You know, how, how has your network maybe expanded? How are you uh, dealing with the, with the virus? Well, again, to be honest, it, given our global village we have with um, just everything from social media and to be able to reach out to like friends and family all the time, um, aside from having, you know, the, the family and friends that are close by, and given the fact that it is a pandemic and the whole world is dealing with it, there is, like the support network is actually enormous because considering that, you know, there's always people who you can sympathize with, can reach out to, that can give you some advice, some guidance, how are you dealing with this and that and the other. So um, it is a, 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 an awkward blessing that, well, it's a terrible blessing, but it's a blessing that everyone's dealing with the same thing in some way. So as far as reaching out and getting ideas, how to manage your time, how to process information, how to manage with the ever-changing rules, uh, it's not, there's no, you're not going about it alone. And I think that there, there is like a strong silver lining that we can then depend on 
not just your immediate friends and family, but your really global network of everyone you know to really kind of help you guide through this, these uncertain times. So I guess my final question, which I'll ask all three of you, whoever wants to jump in first, how are you spending your Aliyah day? How are you going to be spending the rest of today? I mean, we still got some time. Oh, I've heard there's a new amazing food called falafel, which I've got to try out. <laughs> and I'll tell you, I've heard that. It's an, Brand new. it's an Israeli experience. I got it. I mean, after 16, 17 years, you got to try these things out. It's all about, all about trying new things. <laughs> of course, obviously. Hada? I think I'm going to go home. <laughs> I'm going to also grab some falafel, and I'm going to work on tomorrow's show. <laughs> it's, it's Aliyah Day specialty. It's falafel. Adi, yeah. finally, of course, how are you spending the rest of your, your uh, celebratory Aliyah Day? I have really fantastic homemade kebabs. Um, they it's ready all to be with uh, pita la gaz, so it doesn't get more Israeli than that, right? It's like, <laughs> as, as I know we're all olim here, but it's the most Israeli thing I've ever heard that everybody here answered. I'm celebrating today with food. <laughs> That's the most Jewish <laughs> answer possible. It is the Come most on. Israeli thing ever. All right. Well, I want to thank all of you for coming in or, or speaking with us today. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.